Morris Minor A Series engine compression test. Now we're testing this engine with a compression tester because we've got on cylinder number three a spark plug which occasionally oils in certain conditions um, and then stops working. So we're going to do some diagnosis and look at what's going on. And one of the first things you can do is do a compression test. So I'm going to pull all the spark plugs out. They're marked so I know which cables go where. And then we're going to start the process. Now I've taken all the four spark plugs out. And now I'm going to start on with my compression tester on cylinder number one. That's number two. That's number two. This is number one. Get there in the end. Hold on. Oh, we never get the right angle on this. There we go. It's only got to be finger tight. So we're going to now we're going to turn the engine over. Can you remember to kill the use the kill switch? We're going to turn the engine over with the throttle full open, and we're going to see what happens on cylinder number one, and we're going to write the reading down. Okay, hold it like that. Yeah. So throttle full open, kill switch off, and then three beats on the. Keys in. No, don't need the keys in to do the full start. So just kill the kill switch. And then um, just three beats. Yeah. All right. Let's see what that reads. Uh, that is about 80, between 80 and 90. Well, that's pretty good, I would have said. 80 and 90. I'm going to let the pressure out. Okay, so I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to repeat that on all four cylinders, and then we're going to do a wet test on top. Compression test on cylinder number two. Uh, the, vet, the readings can vary depending on how much you spin the engine, but as long as you spin it, spin it consistently each time, you should get a constant reading. Did you have the throttle open? So we'll take a reading. That is um, 90, in fact, over 90, 92. 92 on pot two. So I'm going to write that down. So this is our troublesome pot, cylinder number three. So let's see what the diagnosis for this is. I'm going to take a read, which is it's a hundred. Interesting. So the last reading on cylinder number four was just over a hundred, and now I'm going to do one squirt of the oiling can in pot one here. That is pot one, so pop that in there. It's a wet test. It's a wet test. Let me just put that on the floor. Now, I'm thinking if this is an old engine, this is going to change the reading. Anyway, as long as the readings are consistent throughout the block, I'll be happy. Am I in number one? Yes. Yes, I am. Get there and then. Oh, look at that. Makes a change. Make sure that's finger tight. Which is... Hold that in front of the camera, hopefully. Yep. What's oh, reading on that? So that's gone up to about 95. So, the rings are good on number one, because that's consistent reading. There's no issue with the rings on number one. Let's check number two. You haven't put the oil in. Oh, no, I haven't put the oil in. Can you put the oil in, darling? <laughs> I'll let you do that. I'll be quicker. One squirt. 
Where's your head? Now we've got to find number two. Where are you? Number two? That's number two. Is that number two? Yeah. The hood. Get in there. Oh, what am I doing? There. I just love working by touch. There we go. Right, that's finger tight. Make sure that I've released the pressure on the tester. And that's number two. Yep. Now we're going to take the reed in. Okay, so that's 100. That's consistent with it was before. So again, the rings are good on number two. So let's check number three. The problem pot. Over to number three. It's now looking suspiciously like the head gasket's gone. Could be the valve. It could be the valves, but it's very unlikely because the head's only 6,000 miles old. But modern head gaskets are rubbish. Probably that. Did you put oil in? Oh, I didn't put oil in again. <laughs> <laughs> Spot the deliberate mistake. Right, number three. Mind your head. Obviously, we're booting in a wet test. You actually do need to put oil in it. So it's a good job there. Exactly. It's a good job there's both of us doing this. We'll be out of this. I think you're in number four now. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm having a good day. There's number three. That's why you shouldn't let a blind man do your mechanics. That's okay. finger tight. Let the pressure off. Yeah. Number three, the problem pot. Let's take a read in. So, yeah, that's about uh, 97. Yeah, so that's it's, it's, it's within. That's reading the same. No, basically, no, about 95. So, what was it when we did? So, that's fine. Haven't made any difference. Haven't made any difference. So, it's not it rings. Doesn't. That means I ain't got to pull the engine apart. Just take the head off so far. Unless the head's crap, which it could be. I won't know until I pulled it. Right. You didn't put oil in. Oh, dear. oh God, not again. <laughs> I could just edit it so it looks like you put no, oil in. No, no. There you go. You've got to remember to put oil in on a wet test. <laughs> I've obviously not had my coffee this morning. Yeah, that's number four. Yeah, we got that bit right. I'm now making this look difficult. Get in there. Yeah. Get the right angle. In case you didn't know this, he's doing it by touch. Oh, I am. Entirely. Yeah. It looks like that's what I'm doing. <laughs> by touch. Hopeless. Yeah, there you go. Let the pressure out. Yeah. Last pot, cylinder number four, wet test. Let's see what the reading is on here. Yeah, so that's just under 100. Yeah, it's fine. So, from that test we've concluded, the... Compression is very similar across all four cylinders, wet or dry. So we now know that the rings are fine, which means that I'm going to have to pull the head and see 
if it's either the head gasket or something wrong with one of the valves. So there we go.